Welcome to Inside Lake Forest. I'm Eileen Luby, your host, and today we're at Amade Mercatino. Did you know that Lake Forest has an open air market? Well, here we are. We're going to step inside and meet with Hermano and learn all about the history. Hi, Hermano. It's great Hi. to meet you. Welcome. Thank you. We're here at Amade's Market, here between um, the old Marshall Fields building right on um, South Gate. Now, Hermano, tell me, how did you get into this business? Well, I've been here 21 years. Okay. Actually, I've been here 24 years. Okay. About three years I was behind the scene. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been in the produce business all my life. And, and this is what I really love to do is produce. It's produce. So, so you, your, your business started here, you were telling me a little bit before, because you were selling produce to some other businesses that were in this alley. Yes. Okay. And then they closed and you decided, well, I'll just... Take it over. Take it over. And this is what I became of it. Wonderful. So yeah. you specialize in produce. Yes. Um, and do you have any other family members that work with you? I do have a daughter who works with me, and I do have uh, my wife, and she helps me out. But she's a school nurse, so she usually okay. helps me out in the summertime in mm -hmm. uh, after school. So it is a family business. It is a family business. Wonderful. And I do have my aunt. She's 83 years old, and she helps me out, too. Wonderful. And uh, once in a while, my son shows up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's a family business. Well, that's very special yeah. to be in yeah. a family business. As yeah. I'm looking around, I know that your produce selection changes. We'll take a little walk here okay. and talk about it. You have, this time of year now, you have everything from gourds and pumpkins. Can you tell me a little bit about where you get your product from? Uh, most, most of the produce that I have is uh, all from local farmers. Okay. Okay. And uh, I like to deal with stuff like that because uh, it's more natural. Mm -hmm. It's you know, it's, I I know what they use in the field, so mm -hmm. it's I don't like too much stuff with chemical. Mm -hmm. So this is where I go. I rather do business with moms and pops and uh, big corporation. Wonderful. And uh, there is local farming. Plus I do a, I do a lot of business with the Amish. Okay. And uh, like you see, most of this pumpkin over here they come from southern Indiana. Okay. And um, and I see you have behind us here some Lake Forest honey. Can you tell me a little bit about this? Yes. The closest beehive to the sun over here is two blocks away. Okay. And uh, this one here was harvested two weeks ago. But because um, you leave it out in the sprouts, sometimes it does crystallize. Okay. See the way yes. it does? But usually when it crystallizes so fast, it's mean then there is more sugar in it. Actually, the honey is very, very good, but that one there, it does, uh, it's even sweeter. It's even sweeter. Even sweeter. Wow. Yeah. So, Hermano, you get pumpkins like this from, from local farmers here in the area? This one here actually comes out of Wisconsin. Okay. We went and picked it up, uh, me and uh, the guy, then he helped me out. Mm -hmm. And it took us three guys to put them in a truck. Wow. This one here is close to 300 pounds. And it's going to go over my grandson's house. Neat. Very neat. Yeah. So tell me what the secret is about not touching the stems. Well, the mo most here. of this, uh, on the pumpkin, most of the beauty is on the stem. Okay. It's not the pumpkin himself, but it's on the stem. It's on the stem. You will never buy something that it looks without a stem because, hmm. It doesn't look as good. Yeah. Well, tell me, too, a little bit more about some of the other products that you carry. Do you okay. would say that you have how many different types of produce? Well, right now, whatever, uh, everything that you can get in the summertime, you get it now. But now it's towards the end of the season. Mm -hmm. And uh, now you're dealing more with squashes like this. It's a fall item. Cabbage, peppers, a few cucumbers, mm -hmm. and peas. Neat. Yeah. And your, what are your store hours, Armano? How, how often are you? You're open every day? My store hours are between uh, 8 and 5.30. 8 and 5.30. Yeah, but we usually get here earlier. And what? And every day you're open? Open every day but Sunday. Close on Sunday. Close on Sunday, yeah. Talk Need to a me day about rest. some of these other um, canned items here. I, I'm trying to carry most of this stuff. It's uh, from Mom's and Pop's shop. Okay. The one there comes out of Door County. There is a family of uh, father, mother, and, and two children and they make all this homemade stuff. Mm -hmm. And it looks natural like they used to have many, many years ago. Wow. So, and it comes from Door County. Plus I do have some maple syrup. That one comes out of Michigan. Neat. That too, it's a husband and wife. 
Mm -hmm. And after they retire, that's what they do. Wow. But this year, the supply wasn't that great, no. so they only send me a little bit. A little bit. Yes. And I see you also carry an, a wide assortment, too, of seasonal type things. So, like, you've got bittersweet and Indian corn yes. and things for people to purchase to de help decorate most, their most home. <coughs> most of this stuff, it's a uh, fall item, mm -hmm. and people that like it to decorate yeah. and stuff like that. Wonderful. And you carry you some know, pastas? The pasta, this that's to a family business. Okay. It comes out of uh, Highwood, this is my cousin, that he makes that. And she makes everything from scratch, just plain eggs and flour, nothing else. No wow. additive to it. Neat. What <coughs> would you say has been one of the um, best moments in your career here doing this? Do you have a, a story you can share with us? Actually, every day there is new every stories. Every day there's new stories. Um, the, <coughs> the customer that I got is just like a family to meet them. Mm -hmm. They have been here so many years and uh, I, I know the story and all, almost everything about them. So it's so a neat relationship that you've been building with each of, yeah. your, each of your customers over the years. Yes. Neat. Tell me a little bit about these potatoes here. These are something that you don't find everywhere. And that's what I think is really neat, Hermano, is that there are all these different types of produce that you're just not gonna find the, the quality and the um, unique spread of items that we find here in your store. Um, my customer, they expect the best and they get in it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's where I go. I go everywhere just to find whatever I know that they can use, mm -hmm. you know. and. Uh, most of the stuff that you see over here, this one here, it comes out of North Dakota. Okay, the fingerling potatoes? They're, they're fingerling potatoes, plus they're boiling potatoes. Okay. But I like them small like that. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, all the tomatoes, those are all local tomatoes. Neat. Probably we have about another week left of the before season the, before. The frost it and then it's, it's over. That's it. Mm -hmm. Very neat. So, and I see here you've got um, also different types of herb plants as well that you sell to your customers. I do sell a lot of herb plants. That will be more as a springtime. In the spring. Mm -hmm. In the spring. What do you usually like to do? Right? If I don't sell, I use them for decoration. And I do think it looks nice. It's absolutely beautiful. I feel like we've come from Europe right here <laughs> in Lake Forest. You did. And you brought, <laughs> you brought your history right here. Yeah. Yes, I did. And um, and Hermano, how long has your family been in um, in this area? For a long okay, time? Uh, my father and brother they own a tarot shop in Uptown in, here in Lake Forest. It's the oldest business in Lake Forest. Wow. So, and uh, I've been here 21 years. They've been there 45 years. Wow. So. Neat. Well, this has really been a pleasure. I also know, too, I want to mention that, as you mentioned, as the holidays change mm -hmm. and seasons change, you offer different things. So while we're looking at this now, like you mentioned in the spring, you'll have a lot more plants and herbs and things. And in the winter, you have things like Christmas trees and um, uh, Christmas other trees and, and other wreaths and uh, garland and all kinds of mm -hmm. stuff to go with the season. In the springtime, we do sell uh, uh, spring flowers. Spring flowers, okay. Uh, geraniums and uh, impatience, all stuff mm -hmm. like that. But we usually, if we carry, we usually like to carry the best. Great. Okay, because uh, my customer, they demand it, mm -hmm. so I usually get it for them. Well, thank you so. for, for bringing such a wonderful business to our community thank and you. keeping it here for so long. Well, I know for sure for at least another four years, <laughs> this is a long malicious, but. Uh, <laughs> Well, Armando, it has truly been a pleasure meeting with you today. I've Thank enjoyed you. just taking a brief tour, and I invite all of our residents to come and visit with you and share their stories. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for watching Inside Lake Forest. The Amade family has brought a little bit of Europe to our community, as well as the freshest and highest quality produce you can find in the area. Be sure and stop by today.